following suit of my sister, uh, I'm, I'm a junior, not a senior. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. I know, I, I just appear really mature. And, uh, <laughs> okay. Okay. Let me tell you about my education. Well, there's a lot I can say about it, but one thing that we need to know is that I have to find my poem. <laughs> No. <laughs> Early mornings when I wake up groggy and roll out of bed, I clean up my homework, pack it in my brick backpack, and head to school. Most mornings I eat what I can, maybe shine my shoes with sponges. They serve as eggs if I feel fancy. I've gone to many schools, but some of the most vivid things that I've learned is how it feels when there's nothing to be taught. It's those angry teachers who know better, you know, the ones who strike you down with the belt if they could. I got in trouble for reading in class, and yeah, maybe it wasn't the right time. Uh, but I did learn more from those pages than I ever did from standardized test teachers who taught nothing. I was writing stories after a time of hating to write in family literature because the grammar that I read hours a day, it didn't make sense. Not knowing the difference between adjectives and verbs and nouns. But I would tell stories so complete, I was prompted every day. Where's your homework, Xavier? It's a bit repetitive, but I just had to be creative. I bounced back and forth in schools, schools I looked too white for, schools where rich kids win, kids who thought I was dumb for thinking their dyed black hair was natural like my Whereas Where I was months behind, so the teachers just thought I didn't care. How foolish I went, how foolish I felt going to school for an education. Kids with A's not knowing what the solar system was when I had my head in the stars. Reject the peach paint, I'd mix that of primary ideas that would be like an eraser for any mishaps on peach paper. Peach paper. Kids who would reject what I knew until they had to read it off their own projects, gritting their teeth because I, I couldn't be right. And as you move place to place, you see different sorts of demons of schools. Being homeschooled for, with a friend for a year was fine until I couldn't take another moment of their angry grandma having to dumb down papers because she didn't understand what was being said. Maybe, maybe a standard's a little too high. I mean, only 30% of the students in most classes are failing here and there, and 70% are driving by. That's a passionless, passing grade, bubbles filled with no creation made, but my standard lies not in hopes and lies, it's in the hands of teachers who despite the tiny pay did what they could to lead the way, and that pay doesn't cover work days, because no. they don't just work days, they plan in the night like some sort of shadowy superhero, <laughs> sipping coffee in the morning because they slept less than the students sometimes, and teachers who turned the bad class into the best class, because it was a teacher who steers the ship, turning F's into 3,000 words a day, stories no one would ever hear otherwise, inspired them when school's only draining. These teachers have dialogues. You know. Assume as little as they can because they'll never find out who I am, who we are as students in Tucson, as creators and leaders, as kids, just looking for a life to own when we don't own our own, when it's a house, not a home. Putting student council into the student board for voices who know both sides. Even in school, there's survival of the fittest, but a team can surpass one person, and that's why there's clicks. And this should click, we need a dialogue. But that's hard to schedule when teachers work two jobs, teacher and tutor, teacher and substitute, teacher and waiter. Busy days get, just get busier just to survive. I have an idea. With the teacher's pay going down, so is the number of people who aspire to be great teachers because they never, no, they can never really retire, and they know that. And they see how tired teachers are, see classrooms depleted of resources only to be paid by underpaid people, underpaid teachers. Change the pay. 
more than $3 over the living wage. Nourish school so students can succeed, so they can exceed past, was determine their past, regardless of their class. Teachers deserve respect. They lead the future, and those who can, teach. Woo! <laughs>